Hi folks, Brian Strausser from Bright Path with Sunday's update on Hurricane Irma. We're recording this at about 4.30 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, September 10th. Hurricane Irma is currently five miles to the south of Naples, Florida, moving north, almost exactly due north, at about 14 miles per hour. The storm is now 30 miles to the south of Fort Myers and is continuing on a direct north path that will take us up through the Florida Panhandle into South Georgia, and then it's gonna veer a little to the west as it passes through southwest Georgia and then on through parts of Alabama, Tennessee, and then it will dissipate further from there. Irma's lost some strength as it's moved across southern Florida. It's currently a category two hurricane with winds, consistent winds in excess of 110 miles an hour and some storm gusts that are going higher than that. It's still an extremely dangerous hurricane. And in fact, it's a very large hurricane nearly 220 miles across right now. So the entire storm is covering the state of Florida. And there's no part of Florida that will not experience hurricane and tropical force winds over the next 24 to 36 hours. And we expect that we'll see tropical storm force winds uh, reaching as far as Atlanta and some of its suburbs by tomorrow night. So what does this mean? Uh, when the storm has passed through, what can we really expect over the next couple of days. Well, as we said yet in our video yesterday, this first 24 to 48 hour period after the storm passes through, which will really mean starting tomorrow evening for parts of Florida, that first two days or so, perhaps longer, will be about life-saving rescue operations. And that's what groups like FEMA and local law enforcement, the Coast Guard, the National Guard, the United States Navy and others are really gearing up to do. And then after that, the focus will shift to critical infrastructure restoration, power, water, the supply chain for food and others. And then in the long term, you'll see this long recovery period that will probably take years before we get back to whatever the new normal will be for the areas that are impacted. As a business leader right now, you're kind of in hunker down mode and just waiting for the storm to pass, hoping that your facilities and your folks there on the ground are gonna be okay. But after this, you're, you, will, you will be as interested in restoring your infrastructure as government is in restoring the community's infrastructure. And that's where we can help you. We can help you with information from the various agencies and conference calls that are going on throughout the day. We can help lend our decades of experience in managing large scale hurricanes like this. And we can serve as that trusted advisor to you with your executives, your crisis team and others to really help you manage through the next few days. Learn more about our capabilities here at Bright Path by visiting brightpath.com slash hurricanes or give us a call at 612-235-6435. We're here to help.